Today is going to be my monthly favorites for the month of July. So if you guys want to know everything that I've been loving for the month of July and everything that's in this little box, then please just keep watching. So the first thing I wanted to mention is a combination of a foundation or CC cream with a brush. I have been loving this product all month long. I've been wearing it when I'm in a hurry. You might have seen it in my Get Ready With Me video, which I can link down below for you guys. And it's the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. I'm in the shade medium. I really like this foundation because it comes with a pump, so it makes it very easy to get out just enough what you need. Pump it out onto the back of your hand, pick it up with a brush, rub it in with your fingers, whatever you want to do. It's a very natural looking foundation. It gives you a slight bit of dewiness but it's not greasy looking. I remember talking about the illumination version of this foundation in a disappointing products video because I didn't like how dewy that one made my skin look but this one is much more natural. Medium is the perfect color for my skin tone. It has an SPF in it. It's just a great everyday go-to product. It's a little bit pricey but it's definitely worth it because for me I feel like this will last me months and months and it's a great summer just product. I love it. So this is the brush that I have been using religiously all month long with CC creams, any kind of BBCC, just very emollient kind of foundations, and it's the Expert Face Brush from Real Techniques. I really love this brush because it does such a great job of not only buffing in that foundation or that product, but it's dense enough that it doesn't pick up so much of the product. Because sometimes when you use like a stipple brush or just a very soft bristled brush, I feel like it drinks up a majority of that face product instead of actually applying it to your face. You don't have that issue with this product. It's affordable, does a great job of blending, it's not streaky. I really love the Real Techniques line of brushes in general. I like their highlighting brush, their blush brush, they have so many amazing brushes. They don't seem to have a bronzing brush though. I think they should get on that next, like a nice contouring bronzing brush. So far this Expert Face Brush has been my holy grail brush for the month of July. Next up is a bronzer. It's from the drugstore. I have been loving this for a couple of years now, but for some reason I have recently been reaching for it this month. And I think it's because I've been unpacking my makeup. I recently moved and this was actually in my travel makeup bag. The bag I prepared as I was moving so I would have my everyday essentials in it so I wouldn't have to go digging in boxes and trying to find my makeup. And it's the Rimmel London Natural Bronzer. It's a waterproof bronzing powder. It's matte and it's in the shade Sun Bronze. It has the slightest, slightest, tiniest bit of sheen to it but it's very natural and this is such a close dupe to the Hoola Bronzer from Benefit for so much less. I believe this is about $5 pretty big in size and like I said I've had this for forever. As you can see there's a slight dent to it but I still haven't even hit pan. I've had this for a good year and a half. These products will last you for two and a half years. There's a 30 month expiration date on the back. Sun Bronze, this is the one I say to pick up because it's a nice neutral base shade that will look good on pretty much any skin tone. You can contour with it, you can bronze with it. It's gorgeous all over looking powder. I love it. Then I have two eyeshadow palettes to go over with you. The funny thing is they're both from Too Faced and the first one is very overlooked. It's the Boudoir Eyes Soft and Sexy Eyeshadow Collection. It's kind of a risque palette because of the names of what they name their eyeshadows. And I wanted to specifically talk about one shade in this palette because honestly I can see why this palette is often overlooked. I feel that these shadows aren't up to par with the with the quality of most Too Faced shadows now, today, that they've created. I feel like those are a lot more pigmented, they have more color payoff, lasting power. These shadows barely show up on my hands when I swatch them, they barely show up on my eyelids when I swatch them, except for this one color. So I was almost going to declutter this palette and give it away until I swatched the color down here. It's called Lap Dance, and it's this beautiful, taupey, lavender, gray, muted neutral purple shade. It's shimmery, it's beautiful as you can see in the swatch. It's amazing the way it picks up light. It's a perfect color to wear all over the lid with a neutral matte shade in the crease. You can wear this in the inner corner if you want to do something a little bit different than your typical champagne to highlight. Or you can wear it in the outer V if you're doing an all matte eye and you just want kind of like a taupey purpley look to your look. Perfect, I love that shade. If I can possibly depot this one shadow out of here, I may give it away to someone else that may find use with this palette, but I will not give that shadow away because it's gorgeous. And then the other palette I wanted to talk to you about is the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar. I've been reaching for this one again this month. I've been loving it. Peanut butter is one of my favorite shades. It's also in the Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. Great kind of cool tone, reddish brown, beautiful color. It's sort of, sort of like a neutral meets cool tone reddish brown. It's such a beautiful shade. I love peanut butter. And I'm wearing that today along with truffled, frosting, bonbon, 
and a little bit of caramel. Butter pecan is what's highlighting the inner tear duct and right in the center of my lid on top of that Bon Bon shade, which is kind of like a reddish coppery brown. I love this palette. I know a lot of people said it wasn't as pigmented as the original chocolate bar. I haven't had that issue. I think it's very creamy. It's easy to blend. The color is there. The pigmentation is definitely there except for this one shade here, the blue one called Blueberry Swirl. I feel like that one doesn't have very much of a pigmentation to it, so you're definitely going to have to wet your brush or use some kind of setting spray to like intensify that shade. But the rest of them, I found them perfectly fine. I love this palette. And as you can see in the picture, I recently wore this on my blog and I just I really love this palette. This next product is a lip kind of skincare product and it's a lip balm. It comes from Tokyo Milk and this is from their dark collection. They come in these little round tins and this one in particular is in the flavor La Vie en Rose. It's infused with bee balm and jasmine lip balm and this smells straight up like roses. If you like the scent of roses, you will love this. But it also has kind of like a vintagey scent to it as well. I can't quite describe it. It smells like something from the 1920s. If I existed in the 1920s, I would probably be wearing this lip balm every night before bed. It's great under very drying liquid lipsticks and things like that. I just kind of dot it off with a little bit of paper and leave whatever's left on my lips before applying any other lip product. I sleep with this on my lips, wake up with non-cracking or drying or peeling lips. My lips are soft or supple. They're ready for any kind of lip product. I really like this and I think it's the scent that's my favorite part. La Vie and Rose by Tokyo Milk in the dark round containers. Then I have a nail polish. It's actually the one I'm wearing right now. It comes from Essie and this is Winter Collection from 2015. This color, I've been wearing it for the last week and I have been loving it. I know it hasn't been a full month, but when I put on a nail polish, I just know when I'm in love and it's called Virgin Snow. And to me, it's like a very powdery pastel purpley lilac -y blue. And as you can see in the close-ups, just how beautiful it is. It's so soft, it's so pretty. I think it's perfect to transition from spring into summer, or as you're leaving summer, you wanna kinda, of, you know, tone down those bright shades of nail polish, but you still wanna wear some color. Go for something powdery, go for something pastel, and Essie has really been knocking out of the park lately. I don't know, I've just really been loving their nail polish collections and their colors lately. Oh yeah, before I forget to mention, it's creamy as you apply it onto your nail bed, but it dries pretty quickly. It's easy to spread around, it's not goopy, it's not streaky and it dries rather well so you don't so you're not left with this kind of messy wetness on your nails that you have to wait hours and hours before you can do anything with your hands it dries quickly maybe within 10 minutes and then i apply my such v top coat and i'm good to go and this is chip free i would say at least seven to ten days and then the next makeup product comes from wet n wild this is from their Fergie, I believe it was a limited collection. This is her center stage to reflect shimmer palette in the shade Rose Champagne Glow. But luckily it's not limited edition because Wet n Wild has recently repackaged these exact same shades from the shimmer palette collection. There were three and this one called Rose Champagne Glow. I believe it's called I'll Have a Cosmo. It's the pinkiest one of the three and it's the exact same thing. But I've been loving this. I've been playing with it lately. I've used it to highlight the brow bone. I use it to highlight the inner tear duct. I've run it down my nose. It's a great C formation highlight for the tops of your cheekbones. Really pretty color. It's great as a blush topper. The highlight is pretty intense and considering it's under six dollars at the drugstore you can't really go wrong. So I had to share this with you guys. And then the last two products are both lip products and I'm wearing both of them today. First one is a lip liner from Urban Decay. This is their 24-7 glide on lip pencil in the shade Deep. And the reason why I like this is because it's kind of like a taupey, deep terracotta nude. It's really pretty, it looks great for every day, but it definitely livens up your lips. It gives it some color, gives it some depth, some dimension. It's called Deep. It's a beautiful color. I feel like it's a dupe for a shade from MAC, but I can't quite remember what it's called. It might be etc., but this might be just a little bit darker, which I really like. I think it goes well with my skin tone, my dark hair. They're hydrating, they're not drying on the lips. They are a wood pencil, so you do have to sharpen them. They're not retractable, but I haven't had an issue with them. I haven't found them to be drying, and on the lips, they're not drying either. They're creamy, which I really like, but they're long wearing. They don't budge, they last all day. And then I topped it with my second lip favorite of the month. It's a lip gloss from Wet n Wild as well. I picked this up at Walgreens for 99 cents and this one is called Lilac Theater. And the reason why I picked it up is because I didn't want to pick up a pink. I didn't want to pick up a peach. I wanted to pick up something that was completely out of my comfort zone, something different. And there was just something so pretty about this shade. It almost matched my nail polish and I just thought it was different. And honestly, when you pair it over any lip color, it's not quite as pigmented as color as you would think. If you were to wear this on its own and layer and layer and layer, as you'll see in the swatch, it is intense, it is a lilac, it is purple, but over other lip colors, I feel like it just enhances them. 
this lip gloss on top of that lip liner from Urban Decay just created a more mauve kind of nude for me. So it took that terracotta shade and just made it a little bit mauve and of course glossier. And I really like these. They're pretty long wearing as well considering they're only 99 cents. And I believe there's two or three other colors. So definitely check out your local Walgreens if you're looking for glosses for the summertime, affordable ones, and a fun variety of color. So I guess I'll start off with the first thing that is a lifestyle product, and it's actually an app. And I'm actually addicted. I'm obsessed with this game. It's called Best Fiends, like best friends, but without the R, Best Fiends. So it's basically just a matching game where you try to find the things that match and get those points. And then you'll see little goals in the top left-hand corner. It'll tell you you have to defeat eight slugs, you have to get 25 daisies, or you have to get 15 leaves. So as you're playing, you're trying to get to those goals. You're trying to defeat the slugs. You're trying to collect as many items as you need to collect. But at the same time, on the right-hand side, you're gonna see how many moves you have to do this in. So there's no time limit, but you have to make sure you get all of the goals collected and finished before you run out of moves. So it might take me two or three times, I'll defeat it, and then I'll get on to the next level. And as you play, you collect strength for your little characters, which you can help them to evolve and grow, which will make their attacks a lot stronger. So it's a really fun game, it's free. It will charge you if you want to add more moves, or you want more diamonds, or just more things to help evolve your characters quicker. I just don't pay for those things. I play until I get to that level in the natural way. I don't really like to pay for things like that because I feel like it's cheating. This next lifestyle product is actually business cards. They were sent to me as a fashion blogger. They reached out and asked if I would like to try them out. And I said, sure. I mean, who doesn't like business cards to hand out to friends or new people you meet? And the cute thing about this is that you can design your own business cards. So it has a link to my blog, it has my name, it has the handle for my social media, for Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. It has my email contact information. And I just thought this is a really cute and innovative way to pass out business cards to get people connected to your website or to your YouTube channel or whatever it is you may be doing online. I did receive these for free, but I went on the website and I found out that you can get 50 cards of any design of your choice with the case, $39.95. And if you want more than 50 cards, the prices go up to about $59, a little bit higher than that. It has a little tassel, you can attach it to your keys, you can throw it into your purse. I love them. So the last lifestyle piece I have to share with you comes from Pinrose. If you guys have never heard of this, don't worry because I never heard about it until they reached out to me. Scents to go. These are basically perfume scents in the form of wipes, which retails for $24, I believe, for 20 satchels of scents. So you basically get 10 different scents two of each scent. And they sent me a whole bunch of them. I love Mary Maker. It smells like nectarine. It has this nice, fresh, summery scent. And what I really like about these is that they come in these little, like, single-use little packets. So what you do is you rip it open, you have one wipe inside. So what I like to do is target the areas where scent is going to linger the longest, which is all of your pulse points right in here, on your wrist, behind the ears, behind your knees, and it's a little wipe, so it's cooling you off at the same time you're applying the scent, and it lasts all day. I put this on yesterday after I took a shower, and this morning when I woke up, I still could smell the scent. I really like these, and they're great for on the go, for your travel bag, for gym bag. It's definitely going to be airplane safe because it's not an ounce form, and it's a wipe at the same time, so I think that's pretty ingenious. They do sell one ounce regular perfume bottles. I'm really impressed with this product. So that's it, guys. This concludes my July favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.